This is a test of the ambisonic panning for Premiere Pro with a mono sound source. So this is a mono source, and here we are at the default position of zero degrees. Now we're going to pan over all the way to negative 180, which should be on the other side of the sphere. Here we are at negative 180. Now we're going to move our way over to negative 120. Here we are at negative 120. And now we're going to move to negative 90 degrees. Here we are at negative 90 degrees. Now we're going to move from negative 90 to negative 45. Here at negative 45. And now from negative 45 all the way back to the default position of zero. And now over to positive 45. And now we're going to move from positive 45 to positive 90. And now from 90 to 120. And now from 120 all the way to 180 degrees, which should sound the same as negative 180 degrees. OK, we're going to go back to the default position of 0 now. And now we're going to tilt upwards 45 degrees. Here we are tilted upwards 45 degrees. And now tilted upwards 90 degrees. And now we're going to tilt to negative 45 degrees. Here we are at negative 45. And now we're going to tilt down to negative 90 degrees. And now for fun, because this is a test, let's see if when we pan here at negative 90 degrees, uh, whether the sound source moves or not. So now we're at a negative 90 degree tilt, and we're going to pan 90 degrees. And now we're going to pan to 180 degrees. And finally, we're going to move everything back to default zero position. And we're going to try rolling. In theory, rolling a mono sound source should do nothing, but again, this is a test. So let's roll 90 degrees. Here we are rolled 90 degrees, and now let's go back to zero. And here we are back at zero. Hopefully we're where we started. And we'll see how this lines up with what the spherical video is doing.